Hey, hello there, welcome back to the big weather update today, as we have a couple things we'll be going over, we have a severe weather threat on day 3, we have also flash flooding threat on day 3, we have surrogate still, subtropical, and then we have 96p as well, that's what's going on in the tropics today, anyways, um, take a look at this, as, um, of course right now we have, um, um, subtropical storm surrogate, and then we have 96p also subtropical, and then no um suspect areas across the um across the Indian Ocean, which is hope to keep it that way going on for a while. So um yeah. Um but anyways really anyways, let's just see what's going down. Uh we still have we have a ton of red flag warnings actually across Nevada. And also um, for Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, Texas, and um, wind advisory as well for Kansas high wind warning for Wyoming, and then high wind watch for portions of um, Utah. I think uh, also wind advisory for California and Nevada. Something I know as well. And, and, um, yeah. and also in the scatter green, there's a flood warning. But anyways, though, let's go see what's, um, so let's see, um, right now the entire right now surface observations, you can definitely see a, quite a strong trough across the Rockies right now, that's going to be digging towards the east, and it's going to be intensifying, bringing some strong winds, maybe also some, um, fire conditions, so uh, that's why we have an extreme fire Extreme fire risk going into the next several days, it seems. So, that's something really to note. Anyways, though. Um, now, looking at the next thing. Um, so, you can definitely see now. Tomorrow, we have some thunderstorms across North, South South um, um, Dakota. Maybe a portion of North Dakota and then Minnesota as well. See, that trough is still... Heading to the east right now with a pressure of 996 millibars at the at the surface. Uh, I definitely see a quite a warm front, and that's gonna be um, um, still though. Going to continue to dig off to the east, and um, many surface flows up along the cold front as well. Moving on to the next day now, we're looking at this thunderstorms stretching from South Carolina, South Dakota, not Carolina, South Dakota through um, Wisconsin. And we could be seeing, again, may, no strong storms are expected with this, but as um, always, it's better to be aware. And we also see some thunderstorms also in um, New Mexico, which is quite something. So, anyways, moving on to the next thing. <coughs> we can definitely see, um, again, thunderstorms are going to be overspreading. We have <coughs> still thunderstorms across um, New Mexico and Colorado. Then we all have more thunderstorms stretching from all the way from Ohio to Texas. Yeah, this is um <clears throat> to be uncertain on the severe weather probabilities. And um yeah, it's quite interesting to say what's gonna be happen what's gonna happen. But um anyways really. So we have um thunderstorms still cross Across from Texas all the way through um, Ohio as well in Illinois, um, basically um, pretty large area where thunderstorms are possible. <clears throat> as we continue on with this, so um, as um, we'll be moving on to Friday, as it's gonna it's rather interesting to see what's gonna happen at least. Definitely see large cold front, very strong as well. Um, we're gonna bring some more seasonal temperatures. As we still have thunderstorms possible throughout Louisiana, Mississippi, and Texas, these are not looking to be severe at the current moment. And then we have another um, another strong trough arriving at the west coast, and this will be potentially arriving with another severe weather chance moving into early next week. But right now, saying how certain that is, eh, this is maybe not. But, um, <clears throat> moving on to Saturday now, you can definitely see thunderstorms still across Louisiana and Texas. It's going to be more centralized to the coast, and we can definitely see 
digging trough across um, um, the Canada and then also across the Rockies but the West Coast still. So we'll be moving on to Saturday, Sunday I mean, as um, temperatures are going to be definitely warming up by Sunday as warm fronts can be passing through the Midwest and uh, especially across um, the Southeast and Southwest. Uh, we could be seeing also more thunderstorms across Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas. With also a uh, pretty strong trough across the Rockies, of course. As we'll be moving on uh, after this. So you definitely see uh, some ridging across um, the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, should um, um, <clears throat> last through um, then. Now, moving on to the next thing. Can definitely see um, today we have tonight we have a thunderstorm risk and day two we have thunderstorms and day three we have a slight risk across Texas Oklahoma Kansas maybe Missouri and um, Kansas Oklahoma and also for Texas under a mar a marginal risk of severe weather so it's gonna be rather interesting to see what goes down in the first place however though <clears throat> we'll be going into the probability for day three um, the probabilistic chances of receiving severe weather within 25 miles of a given point. You guess we see across Texas and Oklahoma, you have 15% chance significant. In the slight risk, you have 15% in general. <clears throat> and then the marginal risk, you have um, uh, 5%. So it's going to be it's definitely interesting right now. Miles have been going really on and off. Nam was showing nothing, and now it's showing something today. However, though, we're not just done yet, really. We have to go over the next precipitation for the next seven days. We could definitely be seeing several inches, especially across um, Texas, Oklahoma, that is indicating that yellow and um, maybe dark orange, maybe. And, um, and the reds indicate two inches, four to five inches are indicated in the, in the yellows and um, darker oranges. But... Um, Again, some um, rainfall it is debatable if, it, if it's needed or not, but we have marginal risk of flash flooding across, again, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas, uh, We have, which means um, 5 to 10% chance of receiving flash flooding within 25 miles of a given point. Turn around, don't drown. Um, one of the leading killers in, the U in terms of severe weather and across the U.S., is flash flooding don't get yourself in that situation become a statistic anyways we'll be moving on to um <clears throat> the cpc outlook we could definitely see across way across the country actually we we're seeing above average temperatures in the darker orange we have 50 percent in the lighter orange we have the, in the middle uh gradient orange we have around um 40 percent and 30 percent across the um yeah, lighter shades of yellow and then <clears throat> moving on really moving definitely see in the darker in the lighter greens definitely see above average precipitation in the darker um browns definitely be seeing below average precipitation more than what's expected so uh, we'll be that's the six to ten day out six to ten day outlook as uh, we'll be moving on now to now the 8 to 14 day, it's going to be moving more towards off to the south and east still, as um, Florida, South Carolina, and Georgia expected a way above average temperatures for this time of year. And um, looking at the precipitation, I look, it's looking quite interesting to say the least, really. <clears throat> as you can definitely uh, be seeing, um, stretching all the way from Wyoming. Dakotas, Colorado, Nebraska, and stretching all the way to, the, to Florida. We have above average precipitation in the West Coast, and even uh, portions of Texas, and even stretching to Mississippi is expected below average precipitation, which is definitely a turn. So, um, that's really all I have to say for today, but um, again, this gonna be, next 8 to 14 days is going to be rather interesting, and just the next 14 days in general. Anyway, that's really it for today's video. Um, so, I don't have to say uh, what happened um, today. It's um, quite interesting. 
But um, that's all I really have to say for today's video. I hope you did enjoy and goodbye.